Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a 1 million subscriber Q&A. So firstly, I would like to say thank you for 1 million subs on the channel. Secondly, I would like to say that is the light, but it doesn't work guys because it's too yellow. It's so dark outside, so I've decided to turn on my computer screen just behind and use the computer light to light me up. And it's also very cold, which is why I'm wearing a jumper and a hat. So we're going to answer the first question straight away. What do I look like? For those of you that want to see... Pause the video and zoom in, feel free to do that. So this is the first question, guys. What do I look like? So a few quick announcements before we do get into this quick fire q and It should be about 15 minute questions and answer video. I am going to be reading questions off the computer screen on the left hand side, guys. So I do apologize if I keep looking that way. And there should be some defensive replays, maybe... What side? It should be that side, I think. Yeah, on the left hand side should, should be some defensive replays. So two quick announcements. Loads of people keep asking me when is the 1 million sub giveaway. The giveaway is ending on the 18th of December. I will announce the winners live on camera with another Q&A on the 18th of December. If you have any more questions for me, let me know down below, guys, and we will get them answered in 13 days' time. Now, what you need to do to enter that is simply leave a like on this video just to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel right now. There is a link down below. Click the link, click enter, done. Bing, bang, bong. So, second giveaway going on, guys. Two $50 gift cards, one iTunes, one Android, given away this Thursday. If you want the chance to win one of them, click the second link and click enter. That's all you need to do. So we're going to get ourselves into this, uh, this Q&A. It's going to be completely random. I'm just going to choose the most random questions, try and mix it up a little bit, guys. And hopefully you will be entertained and have a little bit of a perspective into my life. So first question we are going to answer, because it's such a big one and because so many people always email me, DM me, you know, just send me so many messages. Why can't we join your clan? Basically... I'm extremely busy with YouTube guys and other things, so I don't run that clan on my own. There are some very close friends inside of that clan naming Jasu, Lewis, and a couple of others who help me run the clan, and they actually choose people to come in and come out. I do not have any responsibility or authority. I'm not even allowed, really, to accept people to come in, guys, because obviously I'd be kind of biased. If you tell me you're my subscriber, I'm going to let you in. So Lewis and Jasu kind of run the clan for me. I just, you know, participate there. And make sure that it's a friendly environment. So if they do not let you in the clan, I do apologize guys. Usually it's completely full. Anyway though, there's always 50 members. And this is over a million subs on the channel. you got Jasu with over 80,000 subs. And a couple of other YouTubers. So really guys, the clan's never really going to have many spaces. Now we do have a feeder clan. It is called General YouTube. Please feel free to search it and join that whenever you want. So we're moving down on to another question. So uh, Chino asks, are you gay? No, I'm not gay, guys, but I am very, very happy with my life. So let's see. This this is a cool one. This is our dilemma. So this guy's actually asked me, Tony, your girlfriend says to you, stop playing COC or I'll leave you. Or you must give me your account and I throw it in the trash. Something along those lines. What do you do? Do you delete your account? Give it to her. Or do you tell her to get lost? You tell her to get lost, guys. COC is life. So we're going to move on to the next one. Let's see if we can find some interesting ones. What made it, what motivated you to become a YouTuber? And why did you join YouTube? So pretty much, guys, I've answered this like, you know, I'm sure every single Q&A we've done on this channel, every single face cam. For those of you that don't know, I've showed my face like 10 times now on the channel. But we're going to answer it again because we have a couple of hundred thousand new subs since the last one, I think. So basically, um... January 2014 or 2015, something like that, two years ago, I was like, oh, let me just try and make some YouTube videos, see if I can show my little experience on the game, guys. And because I've done a video every single day for about six, seven months, we actually reached like 15,000 subscribers. And then more people wanted to see more videos, so we started uploading two videos every day for about a six-month period. And, uh, you know, then a year later, on top of that, you get to where you are now, guys, reaching a million subs. And soon, I think I can actually order my gold play button, which is insane. So we're going to do another couple of questions, guys. Which is the best? What is the best day of your life? What was the best day of my life? So I don't really know, guys. The best day of my life recently was definitely hitting a million subscribers. It's, um, it's kind of weird. Once you do hit it, you don't really even think about it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's extremely weird. Or maybe that's just me, guys. But hitting a million subs is pretty damn insane, to say the least. So, uh, let's see if we can find another one. How many punch-ups have you had in your life? How many punch-ups? How many punch-ups? Does that say punch-ups? No. Punch-ups? I think he means, I think he means push-ups. How many push-ups can I do? He said he can do 70. I have absolutely no idea. At least, at least 71. 
I'm guessing it needs at least 71. So do you think Clash of Clans will get the graveyard spell or anything else from Clash Royale? So obviously guys, it is currently the 5th of November, 2000, sorry, December now, 5th of December, wow. We're only 20 days away from Christmas and we still have, you know, haven't had a sneak peek. So uh, I'm not sure what's going on with Supercell guys, but fingers crossed, we will be receiving something which isn't inside a Clash Royale this Christmas. I'm hoping it's gonna be, you know, I don't know, they leak the shipyard and all those kind of things, guys. So you never know, we could receive that. As long as it's different from Clash Royale, I'll be over the moon. So stay tuned to the channel. As I said, guys, we will cover all the update information that hopefully is going to be coming out from Super Sun. You never know, we could actually receive a sneak peek today. Sometimes they release information at 5 p.m. And it's currently 4.41 p.m. So, uh, you know, we could get it today. Let's see if we can find a different one. What did you do before you done YouTube? So for those of you that don't know, I am 23 years old. I turned 23. August 30th, guys. And before I done YouTube, I actually went to uni to study 3D animation and graduated in that. So 3D animation, for anyone that doesn't know, is kind of like Clash of Clans. I mean, that's pretty much what you can get into. You can design, you know, Clash of Clans games. You can do uh, Harry Potter movies, Lord of the Rings, Transformers, video games. So that is what I was kind of going into. And I've always loved video games and, uh, you know, mobile games, all that sort of stuff. So I decided to, you know, try out the channel. And it seems to have worked and I no longer really do too much animation. So moving on to the next one. General Tony didn't leave Clash of Clans and change over to Clash Royale, unlike other YouTubers. But anyway, I respect him for that. So yeah, he's not really asking me a question. He's just kind of saying that I didn't leave this game for Clash Royale, guys, or Pokemon Go. I never played Pokemon Go. Well, I played one video. I've done one video on Pokemon Go, and that video actually got more views than my uh, than my Clash of Clans videos. But people always ask me, why didn't you go to Royale when it gives you more views? Why didn't you go to Pokemon Go when it gives you more views? To be honest with you guys, I've always been one of the smaller Supercell YouTubers until recently, since I've, you know, grown. But I have been making more videos than people, and the reason why I didn't go over to Royale... Quite simply, COC offers more to me because it's just, it, it you put more time into it and there's more to show for it. Royale is a quick one-on-one -on -one battle and it's not really what, what I enjoy. I like it, don't get me wrong, I can play it for hours, a couple of hours, but COC I can play for probably about 7-8 hours a day guys, so it's a lot better for me. And then Pokemon Go, I didn't like it at all, I played it, I got to level 7 and I quit after one video on the channel. And as I said, that video got more views than all my COC and my Royale videos at the time, but I just didn't like it, guys, so I quit. So question, which one do you like to upgrade the first? So uh, here's a good one, here's a good one. for. So I'm sure there's loads of channels, 6, 7s, 8, 9s, 10s, and even 11s watching this video right now. Which do I like to upgrade the first? Troops, defenses, traps, random elixir things, or random gold things? So by random things, I'm guessing he means walls. So uh, which do I like to upgrade? Well, I've always upgraded defenses first. Actually, no, I've already I've always upgraded the army camps and the barracks, kind of, and the spell factories. The one thing I always upgraded first at every town hall level, 100%, was the research center because you can get you know high level troops, guys. So I would always say upgrade your research centers, especially if you partake in war and different things like that. So let's see if we can get some more questions here, guys. How much money did you play? How much money did you pay on the game? So I actually made a video about this a couple of days ago, and I was not lying in the episode, guys. I worked out giveaways. We've done giveaways on the channel. We've actually done 13. The PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One will be the 13th big giveaway. I'm not talking like, you know, five, ten dollar gift card giveaways, because I've done them for the first, you know, year on the channel whilst I was small, guys, and couldn't really afford to give more than that. But in the last year, we've done 13 different giveaways. The equivalent $4,000. Now on top of that, we've also spent money on trophy pushing, on gemming, and a variety of different things. I've even given away some gems inside of the clan, like a couple of hundred dollars, guys. So it does equivalent, and I'm not lying to you, $15,000 is what I've worked out I've spent. Somewhere in the region between thirteen dollars and $15,000. I actually showed proof of that on one of the most previous videos on the channel. So if you haven't seen that, guys, please go and check that out. You will be pretty damn amazed how much you can spend on a mobile game. So let's go down. Question, why are you so awesome? Thank you, guys. Here we go, here we go. If you could replace your snot with anything, what would it be? Mine would be whipped cream. Love the videos. Keep it up. If I could replace my snot with anything, what do I like the most? I don't really know. What do I like to eat? I like pepperonis. Maybe pepperonis. So we've actually just landed on a base inside of Clash of Clans, guys. Let me show you. Check this out. 
We've just landed on this. It's not going to focus, is it? It's only worth seven trophies, and it's inside of the Legends League. So we're just going to skip that. Hopefully, we can find one, you know, worth a little bit more than seven measly trophies, guys, because it took about half an hour to find that. But let's see if we can find something else besides I'm recording this Q&A. So let's do a couple more questions and then uh, see what we can find. Here's, here's a good one. This guy says, what the hell? He sounds like Galadon. I sound like Galadon? If you think I sound like Galadon, let me know. Why are you addicted to COC? I've always been addicted to games, been addicted to Call of Duty, been addicted to GTA, been addicted to Ratchet and Clank, been addicted to Pokemon, not Pokemon Go, been addicted to so many different games, and this is just a game where the addiction was like that. Within one day of playing it, I became hooked, guys. So how has it gone from being a normal person to a 1 million subscriber YouTuber? Still the exact same for me, guys. The reason, one of the reasons why I do not show my face on the uh, on the channel so much is because I don't really want to be noticed in public, you know. I like to keep myself, my privacy to myself, and I'm sure you've heard of loads of stories on, you know, drama channels, guys, that these YouTubers have been, you know, jumped or tackled or whatever, stuff like that, and that is not me. I, I don't want anything to do with that, guys. I like to keep myself to myself and, you know, just enjoy the channel itself and upload the gameplay that I upload. So one final question. Let's see if you can find a good one. How did you get this awesome at making videos on YouTube? Please reveal some tricks. So this is a cool one. So any YouTubers have made it all the way to the end of the episode. Hopefully this is going to help you guys out. So a couple of tricks of the trade on YouTube. Firstly, you need to do daily videos because the daily videos you're actually going to learn how to make them better. So daily uploads will allow you to learn how to edit quicker, how to do the thumbnails, how to describe your videos, the tags you want to use, all that sort of stuff, and it also gets you involved in the community. So daily videos is basically the uh, the stepping stone to get into all the different valleys within YouTube. Daily videos, and then you have to interact with your actual audience, guys. Get an audience, even if it's a small one, just get an audience which is loyal to your channel, and do not mess them about, guys. That's why I remember about, about a year ago, a random YouTuber, I'm not going to say his name, actually called me out for fake giveaways. So I had to make a video showing that my giveaways were real. Fake giveaways is the stupidest thing you can ever do on YouTube, guys. It is legit the most stupid thing because you will always get caught. So fake giveaways are a no-no. Do not lie to your subs, especially if they're loyal. So hopefully that helps you guys out. And then, you know, just keep it interesting. Keep the content flowing and never give up. So this is going to be the end of the Q&A, guys. I'm actually running out of breath because it's so cold in this room. I will see you shortly in a couple of hours' time for the second episode. Leave a like, sub to the channel. Thank you for a million subs, guys. Peace out.